Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Um, I wanted to talk about something today that I continually run into. Um, I've been teaching people to play the banjo since 2012, and um, I play the claw hammer style. Um, but something that I keep running into, and this is why I'm sharing it with you, um, even if people have been playing for a while, uh, you, you know, you might just you might just not know this. Most banjos, even open back banjos, come set up today with what is called a half inch bridge. Um, so it means that it is a half inch tall. If you look on a ruler, you've got one inch, well there's a half inch, or four eighths, okay? Well, claw hammer bridges are a little bit different. Uh, so that we have room to get our thumb under there, on the back side, claw hammer bridges are set up at 5 eighths. Alright, so the difference is from here is a standard um, half inch bridge to here, right there. That little hash mark right there is 5 eighths. That's just a tiny little difference. But that little difference, it means the world when you're trying to play. So when you're playing banjo in the claw hammer style, that one eighth of an inch of lift there is huge. Let me tell you, it's it's big. It's a big difference. Um, it'll get you more accuracy, and it, it's just it's a lot easier to do. So I challenge you to go get a ruler <laughs> right now and check your banjo bridge height. Um, it doesn't matter if you've got an open back, if it's set up to where it looks like it's set up to play claw hammer and old timey looking and all that check it anyway because the majority of them are using a half inch bridge and I'm telling you if you'll just do this one little thing bridges are inexpensive they're under twenty dollars normally if you'll ju just do this one little thing I've seen so many people you know that I've worked with where they'll change it out and they go wow that's a big difference you know uh, so I just thought I'd share that tip with you today um, because it's important, you know, to check those little things. And I'm going to keep giving you tips and tricks, um, you know, not tricks, but I'm, I'm going to keep giving you these tips because, um, you know, I continually run into them. It is not few and far between. It's continuous. So uh, another thing that people need to do along with that bridge, check your bridge height, like I said. Check your bridge placement how far or close it is to this tailpiece <coughs> changes the tone of your banjo and it can give you a lot of headaches um, so I'm attaching my video below on bridge placement and how to quickly and easily check that and change that if you need to um, yeah so I hope you found that helpful today if you did go ahead and hit that like button um, if you haven't already please subscribe and there is a little bell there and if you hit that bell you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video but you'll also be notified whenever I put something in the community tab and I like to give you guys um, a little bit of advance notice as to what might be coming next sometimes I might ask your opinion on something and um, so yeah <clears throat> if you're interested in in that go ahead and hit that bell as well um, also take a look in my description where I've got my patreon link and my affiliate links um, to help support the channel and keep keep these free lessons going um, go ahead and maybe use some utilize some of that also if you're interested in my tabs in my ebooks downloads and everything like that you can do that at patreon and I'm also doing lots of giveaways there uh, to all my supporters so anyway I want you to have a beautiful glorious day and I want you to always always remember Jesus loves you bye bye